Last week, Kodumun community in Adamawa state was allegedly attacked by suspected herdsmen, eliciting different reactions, accusations and counter-accusations. Here at the Nigerian Union of Journalists Center in Yola, the state capital, representatives of the communities host a press briefing. They say tens of the kinsmen have been killed and over 2,000 now displaced and insist that the police and the state government have failed the people. Up to this time, no one has been apprehended, questioned or sanctioned by the authorities over the incidences. Is this not a complete conspiracy of silence? As painful as the destruction and looting of property and the brutal killings of our defenseless people, this man is therefore not fit for a command position. He should be removed immediately by the Institution of Police. The group is also calling on government to investigate the crisis. We are calling on government to restore the judicial panel of inquiry immediately to look into the root causes of all these problems that we are facing. Meanwhile, the Adamawa State Government and the State Police Command have reacted to the issues raised by the Botia people. There was this lacuna between the community and the police. They were supposed to report uh, the recovery of these corpse, or corpses to the uh, nearest police station, who will in, no, in turn uh, report them to the commissioner of police. But they didn't do that. And it was quite unfortunate when the commissioner of police came the following day, unknowingly to him, that some of these corpses were recovered. He was not informed. In the meantime, the military says it will remain in the area to ensure security of lives and property, while government and other concerned parties go in search of resolution to the crisis plaguing the communities.